At any given point of time, do you find yourself to be surrounded by nature with all its beauty in the form of trees, plants, lakes, rivers, animals, insects, etc.? Do you think there is some form of contact or collaboration between the living and the non-living components of ecosystem? Living organisms seem to interact amongst themselves and with the physical environment. There are two main components of an ecosystem, which are in constant communication with each other. They are the biotic components and the abiotic components. The living components of an ecosystem are called the biotic components. Some of these factors include plants, animals, as well as fungi and bacteria. These biotic components can be further classified based on the energy required source. Producers, consumers, and decomposers are the three broad categories of biotic components. Abiotic components are the physical and the chemical factors that act on the living organisms at any part of their life. These are also called as the ecological factors. The physical and chemical factors are characteristics of the environment. Light, air, soil, and nutrients form the abiotic components of an ecosystem. In conclusion, ecosystems have a complex set of interaction that happen between the biotic and abiotic components. The components of an ecosystem are linked to each other through the energy flows and nutrient cycles. Even though ecosystems do not have clear boundaries, these interactions get affected even if one factor is changed or removed. This ultimately has the capacity to affect the entire ecosystem.